Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to the local grocery store to see where we can find eczema relief in the food section, the pharmacy section, and the lotion section. Because sometimes Amazon orders can lag behind and maybe you haven't signed up for my eczema online program. So let's find you some relief right away at your local grocery store. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Anna Maria Temple and I'm your holistic pediatrician on call. I am an eczema expert and my mission is to inspire, educate, and empower families to heal their children's skin with less medications. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we can go on into the grocery store and see how we can find your child some relief right now. Oh look, rolled oats. You can actually take these, you can put them in a blender and put them in a stocking, tie the stocking up and chug in the bath. It will help soothe the skin. Oh, tell you this much, all this sugar, food colorings and preservatives, yeah, let's avoid these guys as well. I'm currently searching for Manuka honey that we do not have at this grocery store. We're gonna keep on searching, but Manuka honey would be a great thing to put on your child's eczema. What about in the spice area? Oh, here's a good one. Turmeric, if you mix this with either coconut oil or a good olive oil, and then make it a compress to put it on your child's eczema spot, this is a powerful anti-inflammatory. Side effect, your child turns yellow. However, the yellowness is temporary and we can get rid of the itchiness. All right, we're not gonna use coffee, but check this out, we can use tea. You can actually grab five bags of chamomile tea, steep them in water, cook them as you will, make it a strong tea, and then cool the bags, and you can put the bags directly on the eczema boo-boos and wrap it with a dry towel, or you can make a really strong tea, dip a washcloth in it and, or gauze and use that as your compress. Another thing you can do is chamomile with lavender. If your child, you know, your child is not sensitive to lavender, these are not essential oils, these are actual plants. So we love chamomile, lemon balm, and lavender, amazing soothing relief. So you can make compresses out of this. These are a no, but, oh, we can use baking soda. So this, is a great solution. Now you can put about a half a cup to a full cup of baking soda on your child's bath to get instant soothing. Now I'm interrupting this broadcast to just make sure we know that eczema is not a skin condition, it's a gut condition. What we're talking about today is some quick relief while we get the gut all sorted out. So make sure that you check out my program because otherwise everything we're talking about here today is a temporary relief only and you're gonna get frustrated because the eczema keeps coming back over and over again. Oh, what about apple cider vinegar? Oh, let's talk about that. So we know that a normal pH is a 7.0. However, did you know that the skin generally operates at a pH of 5.0? A lot of folks with eczema have pH that is closer to 7.0 Based on that theory, you can certainly give apple cider vinegar a try. This has not been studied in the medical literature for the treatment of eczema, but you can do an apple cider vinegar wrap, which is gonna be one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to one cup of water. Dip your washcloth or gauze and create a wrap or you can do one cup of vinegar in a bathtub of water to help rebalance your child's skin pH. Always do a test dose first on one spot before you dump the child in his enti entirety in a bath full of vinegar. When we're gonna do wraps and paste, we're gonna use this oil never. However, we're never even putting this in our bodies. Check my other video on how to choose the right oil. Okay, however, here we go. We can use coconut, okay, not the buttery flavor. We're going to use coconut oil as a moisturizer or you can add turmeric and make a paste. Don't underestimate the power of olive oil. However, we are not gonna purchase this kind, even though it seems more economical because you have watched my uh, video on how to choose olive oils. And you're going to get one that is in a glass bottle, dark bottle, and 
organic, pre preferably. The skin is an organ and absorbs everything you put, okay, absorbs most of the stuff that comes in contact with. So no garbage oils on the children, please. Only good olive oils. Great moisturizer, underutilized. Things that exacerbate eczema. Ah, oh, piles of sugar. Avoid these like the plague, even if you don't have eczema. These are a no for everyone. I know, I'm the fun police, ew. If your child has eczema, these garbage things filled with food coloring are a no. Do we even need to discuss this? You know that's a no. I don't even wanna hear a question about this. All these are a no. Please watch my other video on proper low tox detergents and laundry ideas. Careful of any washes or creams that have essential oils in them because not all essential oils are loved by eczema skin. You have to be very careful in how you test them out. All right, creams and lotions. Now, if your child, this is um, a five on the Clean Dirty app, right? One being, zero being amazing, 10 being horrible, it's a five. And in a pinch, this can work great. Avoid lotions because they're diluted down with alcohol. You always want to go with a tub of cream. For my people that I love Aquaphor, Aquaphor and Vaseline, are they my most favorite? No, because they're from petroleum. But sometimes we need to do what we need to do. Think about uh, either Aquaphor, Vaseline, or non-petroleum Vaseline. These guys don't get absorbed into the skin. They're a barrier. These are great to use if you have a, you put a moisturizer in and you want an extra barrier to push the moisturizer in or you're going to the pool and chlorine is an issue you want to put your child in cover them in sunscreen and then you can do a barrier of one of the three I mentioned to keep the chlorine at bay as much as possible a little word of caution so look at this you're like oh my gosh shea butter right hand cream coconut always flip it over boys and girls look at how many ingredients that is an immediate put back no thanks. How about this one? This looks fun and natural. Okay, look at here. Fresh Canadian goat milk, fragrance free, awesome. Oh, but when we look at the ingredients, we see that acetyl alcohol is like number three. That's alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. So we're seeing a lot of alcoholic kind of stuff that is going to likely irritate the skin. Proceed with caution. I really do like this company. What they have going on? Um, well, let's see, no parabens, no phthalates, and then we look at the ingredients. It's coconut oil. Now, I kind of failed to see how this is different than the other coconut oil from the cooking section, but it's a good one. Loving these guys. Oh, one of the things you can grab is a diaper rash cream that has 10% zinc oxide. You can apply that to eczema spots because we know zinc is a potent anti-inflammatory and can help decrease the inflammation related to eczema. In the refrigerator section, we can grab a dairy-free yogurt, um, preferably plain, but if it's vanilla that you can find, all right, it will be fine. Anyway, what we love about it is it's got cooling properties, moisturizing, and it's got topical probiotics, and I'm all about my topical probiotics now. And so this is a great SOS compress that you can use on your kids today. Sometimes if you need to use a steroid, these are over the counter, which means they're very low dose. Just remember that this, which is at $11.99, is the same as this. So don't fall for the marketing. Aveeno is in the category, uh, the Think Dirty app of a four, again, between zero and 10. These guys are a four, so these are okay. We talked about the Vaseline and the Aquaphor section. Looks like it has potential. Oh, CBD cooling. We have medical literature to show topical CBD can be a great in time flammary for eczema, but look at all these ingredients. That is a lot of essential oils. That makes me very nervous. I would not use this. I hope that you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if your child is suffering with eczema, please sign up for my eczema transformation right now because eczema is not a skin condition, it's a gut condition. These are just SOS ideas until we get the gut health in check. Sign up today, get started today, and let's get on the path to healing right now. See you in the course.